Yeah. Okay, so you play knight f3, knight c6, knight c3. Okay. Oh, so 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 you you don't go immediately. Basically. Well, so so I, I I have some games where I'll go immediately and follow the mm -hmm. scotch, and other games more recently, really, I've gone four knights scotch variation. So it's mm -hmm. you know you just get your knights out first. I think a lot of people say that it's you see it more with the lower rated players, but it's mm -hmm. sort of just following the knight move first principle. And then after you get the four knights position, then you attack with the uh, okay. three, four pawn. It's, it's legitimate. Okay. Yeah. Bishop c5. And here is the... Oh, this is the... Yeah. This well, is this the, is the trap, I think, that, that I've learned. And this is where I start. This is where I, I was happy. I was excited. Oh, cool. This is the thing that I learned, the theory. Uh, you take the, uh, the e6 pawn with the knight first. Yeah. And then if, if they take back with their knight, then you uh, fork. Mm -hmm. the pieces by the way i just learned today it, it is funny I, I i play this variation as uh, as black uh, against vienna so let me let, let me just show you and i i, lo I learned the name the name is uh wh what is the name of this variation i just mm -hmm. had a game today so it was like um let me just show you so when, when they play vienna so this this yeah. and when they go here and then i usually go here and then they go here and then i play this yes this, this yeah, is how i always good. play and today i learned it's called uh frankenstein dracula variation so, ah, okay <laughs> cool <laughs> what so a I cool name is... I, I didn't know i i play this over the board i play this all the time so oh, it, cool, it's, cool. It's, it's the same trick so if he takes i four yeah yeah, yeah. It's, uh, apparently it's called frankenstein dracula so it, it so has I guess a cool I'll, I'll call this the four nights <laughs> frankenstein dracula variation yeah 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 Maybe, cool. maybe, maybe, maybe it's called like this. <laughs> no, I, I, I think if, when you're playing this as white, it's, it's, it's not, it's not so dramatic. It's yeah. more common, so it probably has some normal. I think kind I, of a line, yeah. Yeah. yeah, normal name. Okay, so he goes here, and now you fork. Now he has to go here. What, what, what is he doing? D six. Right. Is, is, isn't this the best move? Just you know to save the bishop at least. Probably, I would think, and you know, given the option, I'm going to take the bishop instead of the knight, right? I mean, with my pawn. Yeah, bishop d6 is the second, and uh, yeah. Oh, the first one is to take the. Oh, okay. Oh well, that's yeah, that's probably true too. All right, so if he takes, takes, and then probably goes with the knight. Okay, okay. Um, let Let's not stay on the theory too much. Okay, so d takes c5. Okay, bishop. So what, he's just giving you the pawn. Why? Why didn't he, he take? Yeah, yeah. I get. I feel like I'm getting a pretty good advantage in the start of this game. If he if he takes, he was probably afraid of not being able to castle. Right. But it doesn't matter because you you already exchange queens and one one piece, so it's actually a very good position. Right. And it, it's not a liability. He's a pawn up. Uh, no, he's not. Okay, but you are similar. It, it it's okay end game for for black. And he can he can go here and yeah. Right. So, but okay. instead, he gives me a free pawn. So at this yeah. point, I'm feeling very and good. Creating, and creating a weakness. And yes. this is also, I mean, this pawn is also weak. Yes. So I'm feeling pretty good at this point. Why, why didn't you take the pawn? Is, is there a uh, reason? No, that's probably my first screw up right there. Yeah. Um, I think I just saw an opportunity to put the knight in an outpost in the center. And I, I mean, this outpost is here forever. So you, you don't have yeah. to hurry. So yeah, when, when you see this kind of outpost, uh, this kind of um, outpost, yeah, it, it, it will it will stay here for a long time. So you, right. you don't need to hurry because no uh, I mean th this move is it's creating another weakness. So you should yes. just I, I mean my my first instinct here uh, after this was you know how how to how to pile up on this pawn how how to make right. use of this weakness and then and then only then I saw that uh, you don't even need to pile up you can just take it yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah, I didn't even see that. That's a good point. Yeah, because this this outpost is a problem because it's not easy to to replace. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, I pin, I pin against the queen here to try to prevent okay. the knight taking. But yeah. then of course, and, and now he takes. Away. And now you have to take with the queen. Yeah. So yeah. when you have this nice outpost, you don't want to you know to 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 put the pawn. You 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 need you need to this square for your piece. So yeah. I think here maybe I'm not sure this is the best move, but may, maybe I would. Uh, you, you cannot. Yeah, I, I I thought here, but it's taken. Yeah, you you cannot. So th this is the problem. So 
when um, in principle, when, when you want to take the outpost, you need to have another piece which will take its place. So, okay, queen, queen is okay, but sure. uh, it, it would be better if it was a bishop. Sure. So maybe. Bishop or another knight, right? Why not? Well, for example, I, I'm, I'm, again, I, I'm not looking at the engine. I, I'm not sure uh, mm -hmm. maybe there's some tactical blunder, but strategically, so maybe, maybe this move, pick away the knight. Right. So knight has to go, I don't know, back. Right. And then I would put the bishop. So that this square, you know, after I put the knight, the bishop can come in, into into his place. So if he goes here, then I can go here, you know. Right, makes sense. Something, something like, like this. Yeah, and then you got backup for when that's taken over. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and and uh, especially if you have two knights, then uh, have, have yeah, that would be the best case yeah. scenario. They just retake with the knight. Yeah. But okay, I mean, you you did you did well to to take with the queen here, rook c eight. Attacking my hanging. Yeah, but here, here I castle right, right into it. So I, I, I'm not sure about this castling. So, I mean, when, when he, he, he already has one open file. So you are castling in the in the attack. Mm -hmm. So you know here and uh, if he's here, he's already threatening with checkmate. Yeah, and that's actually I think what what ends up being yeah. a continuation, which is was yeah, I, I caused pressure on myself. I think. Yeah. So when when he has already you know an open file, you usually don't want to castle uh, into it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, okay. Unless okay, sometimes I mean in the, in the for example the Sicilian, he, he has the open file and you, you still can castle long because your initiative is so strong that uh, he will not have time to do do anything. But right. Okay, here I, I see this this is still hanging, but yeah, so now no. This, so what what would here be the best move? I think just just closing the file, you know. The file is open. You know, you're killing all, all his dreams, just playing the pawn here, and this rook is suddenly is, is useless. Yeah, and now suddenly the queen is also he, he attacking. Can, can do something. I mean, yeah, but you're attacking yeah. here and here yeah. and yeah. So I, I would say here, uh, I, would, I would say this uh, C3 just, uh, you know, simple simple solution. And then sure. and, and then I would put out my bishop, even, even, even here. Yeah, the castle king, yeah. Castle yeah. yeah, I tried to get too fancy, I think, because I also saw that the castle queen side put the, the knight on the D file right behind my queen. And I just, you know, I, on that open file or semi-open yeah. file. And I, I think maybe it was just unnecessarily fancy. I, was just I mean, you're, you're pil piling up on this pawn, which is correct. But uh, first of all, it's It's, it's already hanging, which I think maybe I didn't even notice. Yeah. Which is sad, but. I mean, actually, I, I remember my, my two over the board games, I did same mistake. Then, then, I, then I wrote down that uh, uh, something like that uh, rook can come to d1 without castling long because uh, <laughs> yeah, every time every time i i was thinking about oh how nice would it be to to get to have a rook on the d file right you think and oh, then I I castle castle long. that's great yeah you know, but, just move yeah but why not just play rook to d1 and, <laughs> yeah. I, and I, I i i did it the first time in the in the game i castled in uh, long in the terrible position i mean i i just got checkmated in a few moves and then then i did it again with, but uh, no, no, not such dramatic consequences. But still, it was a bad move. Yeah. And then, it, and then it's time to be okay. But I mean, if I want to have the rook on d1, I can just play rook d1. Right. And yeah. then, you, know, you, you have that's a, that's a that's a yeah, it's a yeah. novel idea. A simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rook, yeah. rook can can move independently of the king. So uh, yeah. So here, yeah, I, I would just close and just, and just go and castle. I mean, it's it's a little bit tempting here to to castle long because um, of this hook, and then may, may, maybe you can dream, you know, about uh, starting with some kind of pawn, right? Pawn storm on the on the king side. Uh, and yeah, that was yeah, that was the idea, but yeah, yeah. But the danger the danger ends up being a problem. I think exactly what you mentioned. It's, now, it's he doesn't do it right away, but eventually that is a concern. Okay, now why did you take the knight? Uh, probably afraid of something like this yeah, yeah I, just, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't i wouldn't take the knight because you are now helping him to get rid of that to, to improve yeah to improve his so for example if he takes he now has a perfect perfect yeah. structure oh he cannot do this because of this. but i do yeah that's i, I think i was hoping for yeah. that take that's okay. one thing yeah if he takes okay but um yeah okay it's it's a little trap but maybe maybe just yeah. you know bring, bring bring the bishop here hitting the queen and then bring the i mean especially now when when, when you castle the long you, you 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 have to mobilize your pawns on the king side you yeah. have to be quicker so 
if this was you know opposite side castling the situation then whoever whoever has the quickest uh, attack wins so right in, in this kind of situation uh, material doesn't matter i mean material like pawn or two it, it doesn't matter all, all it matters is to be quicker than your opponent and to, to be right. quicker means that your pawns are quicker to reach his pawns than than uh, vice versa so yeah. so here i think your your goal is, is to is to you know yeah. start the change, change strategy to, and just start storming right if i'm yeah. gonna go with the queen's side and, yeah. and you, you need to move this bishop because this bishop is uh is in the way of the pawns and uh, luckily here you can uh, move it with the tempo yeah. so move the bishop he you know, he moves the queen and then just go on something like this yeah i should i should note that at this point i'm following along with an engine and i'm like plus I'm like plus seven after this, after the, after I do move the bishop in a couple of turns and somehow I still end up drawing this game. I don't know. It's frustrating. I mean, no, 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 no. You just want the piece. So I know, right? Why, why, I mean, uh, he should have just taken with this. I don't know what's so bad. It's, it says he did the best move, I think, when he, oh no, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. He should have taken the bishop 100%. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're, 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 you're still better because his, his king is uh, in the center and, uh, yeah, your piece. Lot, yeah, it's like a plus four to a plus seven. As, as soon as he doesn't take back, I'm plus seven. So like, I should win this game, right? Yeah. I don't know how I somehow I, I mess it up. Okay, so what I see just 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 by looking like this quickly. So yep. I think you are you are neglecting the development of the pieces. I mean, th th these two pieces yes. it's already moved fourteen, and usually by the move, you know, ten. 10, 12, you should be everything developed. Uh, everything should be developed, and you should also already be, you know, composing some uh, middle game plans or something. So move twelve, everything has to be has to be way out. So I, I think I, I, I think like my to... problem maybe in this particular yeah. game, and, and maybe this is something you've seen before too, is if you if your opponent is making a a large mistake, you know, in terms of falling for that trap or or hanging a piece. Um, you want to punish them, yeah. You want, I want to punish them right away, you know. Yeah, and yeah. then, but then I think after I'm done punishing them, I need to, to your point, focus back on okay. Now let's finish development, and maybe that's not. That's kind of my gap, I guess. Is yeah. I mean, now in, in this position, everything is fine. So right. Uh, I mean, okay. Uh, tactics is is the most important. So tactics always takes precedence over any any position considerations. So of course, if you have some some kind of tactics, um, okay, you, you go for it. But for example, this position, that the, there are no tactical tactical shots. At least I don't see any. Right. So you, you need to think about your pieces. So I think your your next logical move should be to develop bishop and then to to develop the rook. You know, centralize your rooks, develop the bishop, and then you know something something along these lines. So yeah. play, yeah. playing with, I, I think this this is the first position of mistakes. Maybe engine doesn't think it's mistake. Because you are winning anyway, but this is the first positional mistake. You are you are neglecting the, the development. You, you probably wanted to here to exchange, but okay. yeah, I'm not. I think I was thinking that, or maybe yeah, I'm not sure. This looks something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, eventually I do do that. Yeah, this is your plan, but now you are losing the bishop. Yeah. So yeah, but could you just check me? To, Oh no, because it's uh, pinned. Okay, it, I did. I did pin the queen there, which is yeah, yeah. yeah. I was excited about that pin. Yeah, but uh, he, I mean, this 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 move move refutes it. So so he, he's just winning his. Uh, oh, he's uh, okay. You're winning the queen. Okay, I get it. No, 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 no. I get it. Okay, now this this. Why why did he take the queen? I think. Um, didn't he just play something like this? Yeah, me? I don't think he had to take. I don't think he had to take that rook. And, and now, if you take the rook, okay, you just take the rook. Check he go here. Yeah, I, I I don't see why why did he give it give the queen? Yeah, it's not the best move according to the engine. It's yeah. uh, it's it's not a mistake either though. It's just good. I mean, but from the human perspective, you you don't want to give your queen because yeah. Especially if you are losing, if you are down material, the, the queen right. is your only chance to you know to surprise to get some surprise checkmate or to to give a perpetual check. So right. uh, queen 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 can give you perpetual check very easily if if right. the king is on the open. I think that's actually how this game ends. I, I think he ends up. Yeah, cool. why don't you? <laughs> so, so now he's giving the queen. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Check and take this pawn. Okay. Uh, okay.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, still doing good here. Okay. Now things start to get weird with these rooks, I think, at some point. Okay, now he, he's hitting this. Okay, I like this move. I, I, I was just wondering why, why didn't you play this before? Okay. So this 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 is this is a good move. So instead of reacting to the attack, you are bringing another piece yep. with the threat. So I, I I like this move, even if it loses the piece. I, yeah, that that's great intuition, Luca, because the chess says it's a brilliant move. That was very yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, it, it looks it looks correct because it feels good, right? Because then I could do a check there, and then you know I'm not far away from a check a checkmate pattern. It feels like. Yeah, I mean, the pieces activity are, are, are the most important thing in chess. Okay. And then I think it gives well, up a rook. Now you just need to push these pawns. Okay. This is where it gets bad, Luca. All right. This is where. So, why? Happens. Okay. So, how, how, how to formulate this? So, um, you, you want to play on the side of the board, you are, uh, you are strongest. You, you don't want to play into into his his play so here his strength is on the king's side right so he wants to play on the king's side and he right. he's hoping that you will bring the play to him and if yeah. you play the 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 pawns forward you are just allowing him to uh, to quickly you know Have a chance uh, and react yeah, yeah. To, to come to contact with your forces so right. he wants to come to contact uh, with your forces on the king's side this is what he wants mm -hmm. and uh, what you want is to delay this as long as possible and uh, use this time to play on the side of the board in which you are strongest, and yeah. it's obviously the, the this this side of the board. So I think you should just, you know, let let, let him waste time uh, coming coming uh, to uh, to the contact with your forces, and in the meantime, you can just you know go on and push, push yeah. the guys, and there there is no way he can stop you. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah, I I I missed that completely. I'm not really practiced at getting to the end game. I think. Okay, this is, this is okay. You, you defended. Okay, no, I I think this this is a mistake. Maybe not, uh, you know, um, uh, and engine wise, but uh, this is a mistake in the thought process. So why why play into his his court when you have here? You know, no, I think, what what yeah. if you played this? I mean, how, how what can he do? Nothing, right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. He I cannot think, do anything. I, so I think the, the strategy know. behind my next few moves is just not in good practice and then if i had just stayed on the on the queen side of the board i've been fine and this also fails tactically because you are losing the pawn but okay yes yes and so but but again here the same story so don't yeah. i mean okay you, you 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 could even exchange pawns maybe here if you want to do something maybe to exchange pawns yeah mm -hmm. the pawn is under attack i mean you, you you ideally you would like to exchange these two pawns for these two pawns and then yeah. then you are you are safe so if you go just give a check, takes, takes, go well, here and now you can just go here and push push the yeah. pawns. Push this pawn. What happens in that scenario if uh, if I check and then he moves king h h five? I think I was then you take with the check. Oh then I take with discovery check and, yeah. and, and you promote. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been better too, but instead I don't do either of those things. Okay, they're just playing on the wrong side of the board. So now here, what is your strategy? Now, even even if you if you theoretically, if you give the rook for this pawn, you are still winning. So right. three connected three connected pawn, pawns are winning against the rook theoretically. Right. In the game. Right. So you're, you're you're so much better that that even even you can you can give up this rook. Right. And then I, instead, I just go for a race. Oh. Yeah. I, knowing that I can check here. So I win the race, is what I thought. Okay, yeah, he'll he'll queen, but I'll queen first. Yeah, I mean this this strategy will be okay if there are only these two pawns on the board, but you have many other pawns. So yeah. I I think here your your first strategy should be just to stop this pawn. So to go here yeah. and here, just stop yeah. the pawn and then and then push. Yeah, I probably would have by, won if I did. By the, by the time you know he brings his king, because if 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 you go here, for example, he pushes. So here he goes. Here he push. He push. So now, in order to promote, he he needs to bring his king all the way down. Yeah. And he'll get he'll be checkmated before he he does this. Yeah. So here first first of all stop stop this pawn. And this is also one one thing I I learned. So when you are in the end games, or 
no, no. Uh, uh, in fact, this this is the thing. I I, I learned this lesson uh, in analyzing my own over the board games. So mm -hmm. when you are much better than uh, your opponent, so you need you need you are in the better position. You just need you know to convert. Mm -hmm. So you you need to ask yourself one questions. If if it somehow happens that he wins this game, if there is any chance he can win this game, how can he uh, do it? How does he get there? I've heard that yeah. before in Magic. Because usually, usually in this kind of position, he only has one, one chance. And, and, that, uh, and I'm playing right to his one chance. Yeah, yeah. And this is, I, I lost one, one game, very important game. I was playing against um, 2100 or something, and, and I, I, I should have won. I was like plus six position or something. And he mm -hmm. had only one chance, and this is one, one far away pawn. And this was only his one chance to win. And I, I ignored, I, I forgot, I forgot about this. And then I made one wrong move and he managed it, he managed to. And, and then later on, uh, just a uh, uh, guy from the club who, who was watching the game, he just told me, but this was his only chance. If you have given your look for this pawn, you, you, you will be winning. So yeah, like it yeah. stopped. So, so in, in this yeah. position, I mean, you're obviously winning. No, right. no, no question about this. So if, if, if uh, and he didn't resign. So the first question is why? Why, why didn't he resign? Here? Oh, because it's a it's the under twelve hundred tournament. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But okay. Yeah. okay. But yeah. uh, on the other hand, he didn't resign because he was hoping he still he has can do something. And and yeah. what is his hope? His only hope is this pawn. Yeah. So the yeah. only way he can he can uh, win or draw is is to promote this pawn. So, yeah. and, and then you need to neutralize this. The, the only way he can do it. And so you know, just just go neutral. Get ahead of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put the rook here, and then and then he, he has no hopes. Uh, I mean, if, if this is a stronger player after after he sees that you, you know, you, you neutralize this threat, to probably uh, his his hopes, you know, That's are gone, and he just resigns the game. Yeah. 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 So let's see what happened here. Yeah, it's and even even my a pawn is even too far for the king to catch up to it. I think, right? Even from the yeah, from the, um, the, uh, the, the square row. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I think at this point it's just I just screw up. I mean, it's I don't even take the best. Yeah. I don't even make, make the best moves with my queen, and then we get into a perpetual. So I should have already won because I should have just checked on the seventh rank there. Like uh, where on the seventh? Oh, oh, you mean here? Yeah, instead of moving my queen to d to d five, I should have just. Mm -hmm. I clean on the, on a eight and then gone you know b seven, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm almost on my way to to a ladder mate you know. But instead, yeah, I, uh, he's getting perpetual. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. So let's let's quickly just summarize. So I think uh, th this this was all played well. Yeah. Too too bad for this pawn. You should have. So uh, as soon as the weakness arises, think about how to pile up on the weakness. And yep. if you can just take the weakness state. Yep. Okay. So uh, just as a summary. Okay. So this castle. Don't, don't check into castle. open yeah. file. That's a good don't, tip. Don't, yeah. don't go castle into attack. Okay. Castle. Uh, this is fine. Okay. So he, here, here I would, I would like to see before you, you continue on. I mean, th this is, this is a good plan. You want to exchange pieces. So this is a good plan, but don't, don't forget about your sleeping, sleeping beauties, you know. So just, you know, go here and here. Yeah. Okay. And now, okay, he made a mistake, and you exploited this very well. I like this move especially. The, the, this move, I, I would give a you know exclamation mark. Yeah, that's so, what I got. It was, it was, uh, maybe, it's maybe it's not the best move, but uh, yeah. okay, you say it is. So it is. Okay. And now, okay, and and, and now the lesson is, uh, yeah, play play on the side. Don't don't bring bring the ball in his court. Play on the side of the board in which you are stronger, and. Uh, Actually, this turned out, and now you only all you need is to neutralize his his last his last hope. Yeah, we failed to do this. And, okay. All right. So attack the weakness, stabilize or develop after stabilizing. Don't castle into attack, and uh, and play the strong side. Yeah, I think this was a very instructive. I, I usually don't spend uh, so much time on the games, but uh, the, uh, the, this one was very uh, instructive. Uh, yeah. It some yeah. some. Uh, three or four uh, very good, very good moments. So I want yeah, those are those are very good tips. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay.